Man, this retrograde is fun, fun, fun. It's showing me everything that's not working. Plus, I have this beautiful full moon that is just like radiating upon me. And wow, the way it's illuminating. And yeah, I'm excessively excited for my future and what I feel like has potential to bloom. I'm looking for my network of people, my great spirit people who believe in me and wish for my success instead of my downfall. It's really hard to find family sometimes that people that are just not going to be jealous and just give you permission to receive your piece of the pie that you've earned and that you've prayed for and that you value. Some people don't even know what they value and what they request. Ask and you shall receive. Give yourself permission to receive. Know your worth. Understand if you are being abused or abusive. Take responsibility for yourselves, your feeling, your own personal experience. Give yourself permission to love again. Attempt not to be so hateful and disassociative. Notice what triggers you and what makes you angry, what makes you sad, and then please practice ahimsa, non-violence, releasing your attachment to these toxic things that are like habitual patterns that have caused you to re-experience these experiences over and over again. Please make sure to take time to go on my Instagram and my Twitter and be close with me. If you do not have these accounts, you can impress me by making me an account that says, I, I like your username is I did it for Trina or like something cheesy, right? Like <laughs> make it an inside joke between us. Use it exclusively for connecting to me. Understand that AI is constantly reading your heat and your eyes. It doesn't matter where you're hiding. I mean, the devices are everywhere in the universe. You can't hide anywhere anymore. Look at the satellites. Release your attachments from your fears and step into your power of being yourself. Understand these tools and these mechanisms, how they work against you and do not bring you together with everyone and seeing them all as your brother and sister. See who you would like to take advantage of and use for a particular part or thing they have to offer. Understand true love true understanding non-attachment imagine how like basically god loves you right like pretend like there's an imaginary excuse me imaginary energy in the universe and it loves you and gives you everything and then doesn't like expect you i mean like i'm i'm like i'm translating horribly so please excuse me i'm just like just scrap all that scrap cut right <laughs> ended <laughs> uh disgusted with my own narrative I just feel like things aren't really coming out right wow that person decorated their house with such extreme Christmas lights what artistic love and value for the spirit of the holy days with the holy spirit their art their appreciation their symbolism and their attachment to like you could say Jesus right because they seriously just want that kind of light and love on the earth like somebody who's like really loving and unconditional Oh my goodness, I had some amazing Bible study today basically that kind of came with my yoga. And I learned the story of Hagar, the person, okay, so Sarah in the Bible apparently didn't believe God that she was going to get pregnant, so she forced her husband to make love to her servant. And then her servant has a kid. And then when her servant has a kid, Sarah gets jealous of the servant child and cannot handle, even though she was the one that pushed all of that energy, right? So then Sarah made her husband kick out her servant plus her, like his child basically. And then there's like all these other stories. I learned this other story about where all the countries were together into one and fit together in a beautiful puzzle piece and was named something with a P. And like that was Adam's land that he was completely torn apart from his people because like he did not value equals. He kicked Eve to the side and said it was all her fault that she made me eat the apple instead of like, you know, becoming one with her and like being just like her where she's like, you know, I made a mistake. I listened to the snake and then this and then that. Like being completely transparent, you know, the lies. 
Ah, the shadows of all of mankind, his stories that just repeat, repeat, repeat. I mean, these, even if these are fables, you feel me? Like the morals and the stories are there attempting to teach the ethics and the love and the forgiveness and the understanding and the passion and like the energy that is just straight up needed for us to step into the future. And like, man, oh, did you know the child's name was Muhammad? Hello? Are you paying attention to theology? Do you understand the sacred records? Did you forget that Kindle means the burning of the books? Like, everything we are taught is a lie. There's so much, like, sneak and smokes and mirrors and facade. And there's so much information that, like, we're kept from. And I just believe in the power of our imagination. Like, how we can create anything that we imagine. Imagine is I'm a genie. That's what I was taught. Fuller Life, thank you for your teachings. I will always pay credit where credit is due. It is necessary. Man, what a long, excruciating day in life path that I have experienced. I am going to have to acknowledge such extremities and serve myself super love and understanding. And I have so much work to do. I don't even, like, it's hard to even process what must be processed. It's hard to do the work that lays ahead. Man, it's hard to just service the self. Though, like, when you serve yourself, you serve the great divine because you are connected to all of that. So how you treat yourself, you teach others how to treat themselves. You are literally a mirror. You can treat yourself how you wish everyone treated themselves. Or you can complain how everyone else is treating themselves and misbehaving and not being honest. Please bring your attention inward and... The word that I was taught is cloister. It's where you basically cocoon yourself in. You mummify yourself and you honor and acknowledge yourself and how you feel and what's going on. Instead of blinding yourself with your own personal narrative, the story that you like to tell about yourself versus what the truth is. What other people say about you. If multiple people are saying it, there's got to be some truth. You have to honor the other. Honor supposedly how we'll be judged in heaven is how we're judged on earth so if all that is true then what are the stories that people tell about you did you break his heart did you betray her were you a liar were you a sneak did you only care about your own needs was your love true was it honest or were you forcing it did it make you feel some type of way what was your desires was it exclusively sexual where was your passion? What pushed you? Was it your sexual energy or was it your love, your fear? What helped you create this experience? It's really up to you. You choose. You choose. Choose to love yourself. Choose to acknowledge the truth. It's important. It's important. Understand what's going on. Understand your intentions. Understand the story you are creating. You are the writer. How are you talking to yourselves? Are you telling yourself that you're unworthy or that you're never going to have a happy ending? What kind of future are you manifesting for yourself? What kind of thing do you want to believe? You have a choice on how you think. Yes, your thoughts are random and some of them are conditioned and some of you are MK Ultra brainwashed by like video game stories or history and sports and just all kinds of subconscious stimulation that affects you and that is like negative chord vibrations versus like what's a higher vibration such as like right like bird song and like climbing trees <laughs> you guys i'm fighting sickness hardcore like sinus infection <clears throat> I need to treat myself better and to like really pound down some juices and drink lots of water and eat hot, hot meals. You know, this weather is too much. And like, yeah, I'm like definitely daydreaming about my husband and being babied because like, man, I need an alpha. Man, I'm tired of being the alpha. I mean, I kind of want a subby hubby. Yet, like, you know, I like the balance of both. Like, I need that dominance, though, like, I don't need the meanness. I don't need mean. I mean, I need stern and supportive and honest, not abusive. I need my fam. Like, think about it like, like how you would like to be parented, you know? Who would your daddy be? Who would your mommy be? That's who I'd like you to be. Like, honor both sides 
your mommy, your inner mommy, and your inner daddy, like, who you are. How do you mother people? How do you father people? Don't make this so, like, gender brainwash stuff. Like, really honor yourself as an authentic whole. Like, you would not exist without both specimens coming together. That is necessity for the current circumstances before artificial intelligence takes over the universe and makes these superhumans that are, like, X-Men. Which is technically already happening with these, like, vaccinations and all the, like, you know, electricity that's going into the atmosphere. And all the manipulation of weather and chemical warfare. Like, all these things, you know? It's kind of fascinating. Kind of scary. Kind of awesome. It's my opinion. I'm entitled to it opinions are like buttholes right we all got one did you know that you are a deuterosome dude dude toss i can't even you are a do before you are a heart they always want to pretend that you're a heart first it is not true first you are a thing that releases toxins you have to be you have to be it's the first thing deuterosome d-u-e god i need practice okay like, train me. It's like I'm spelling difficulty. Mrs. D, Mrs. I, Mrs. F, F, I. No, you're going to train me how to say that we all start as buttholes first, okay? So use the curse word and look up that article by Forbes. It's kind of cool. Might be Forbes. It might be somebody else. I don't know. So, like, I got to pack my work stuff for tomorrow. I got a, I got a, I got a big duty that lies ahead of me. I'm very excited. I'm going to need some rest tonight. I'm going to need to nurture myself and cook up a really nice meal. I need all the love, all the attention, all the proper care, and frankly, I'm like the only one that can serve it to myself right now, and until I learn what I need, like, I'm never gonna know true love when I find it, when they, like, do the things that I need without me, like, telling them or, like, or, like, having to, like, command and boss people around to service me in the way that, like, I need to be, you know, like, for somebody, it's gonna come very natural, and they're gonna want to, you know, not that they're my servant as much as just, like, they see that they can supply what I need. You know what I mean? And, like, they're all about me and they want me exclusively to them. And, like, they understand my dreams. And I understand their dreams. And then together we make the dreams a reality because we're constantly pushing one another towards what the other really desires. Even when it's really uncomfortable to, like, go through these changes of metamorphosis out of our cocoon into, like, who we wish we could be, you know? And before we gave up on ourselves and denied ourselves and hurt the others and didn't see ourselves in every single person that we met. Like where we thought had all these harsh judgments and all these like offensive narratives that like aren't really serving to anyone, especially not ourselves. So how we treat others, we will be treated. That is Newton's third law, physics, Lex Talinus. There's many, many generations of this study. I'm so thankful for you allowing me to share with you all this energy. If you wish, feel free to send 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 my favorite number is 226 that's a way that you can always send that amount and tell me like i'm grateful for your existence even if it's two dollars and 26 cents if that's all you got and like that's all you feel like i'm worth or that like you're worth or like you know this process go for it if it's 226 if it's two thousand two hundred and twenty six dollars more power to you you know if it's two million no, it's... <laughs> i like to play okay and like, yeah, money kind of buys you freedom right now in this horrible matrix system. And I just have all these big dreams and like, I have to have faith that I'm going to receive so I can move mountains and most of all build structures and buy land and like create safe havens for the time being as God allows. And I certainly need like a co-creator, right? Like my hubby that's by my side that's like, yeah, man, that looks great over there. Or like, let's do this together and let's do it this way. Instead of like telling me that like, all right, you need to shove that dream up your butthole. It's a fake dream. Like, I don't need that. Like, I need someone that's like, yeah, man, whatever you want. Like, let's do it. Like you, all you, baby. It's all you. I love you. Let's do what makes you happy. Let's do it. And then like, oh, baby, will you help me with this way? Like, I need it this way too. Like, can we, can we co-create or like, are we going to destroy each other's world? Or can we create a world together, that ultimate yoga? <laughs> I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Ho Ho'oponopono, Jai Bhagwan, Namaste. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.